Statistics show that one in four people will suffer from a mental health condition at some stage in their life. That's a person in your family, that's three people in your sports team, it's eight people in your class, it's two people from your work team, and it's at least one of your closest friends. We all need support when it comes to developing good mental health, and that's why I am a third year MoBro. What's going on guys, Alessandro here, and welcome to another episode of Think TLT. Mental health is a challenging subject because there is still such a stigma around it. And as a society, we're still learning how to deal with it effectively, positively, and openly. And that's why today, I'm gonna to be going over five things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis that really improve my mental health, but also boost my energy levels and my happiness. If you haven't already been able to figure it out by the terrible moustache on my face, it's November. And this is an incredibly special time for me because it's an opportunity to share and talk about mental health, especially in young men and women. While Movember started as a way to raise funds and awareness for various men's health conditions, it now also shines as a mental health and suicide awareness opportunity. Something that I am incredibly passionate about spreading the word about. Mental health is such a tricky aspect of our lives. You, you can't see it and people often don't like talking about it and sometimes it's hard to isolate in oneself. And therefore, before I go into the five things that I do to improve my mental health, I invite you to do this one thing. Think about a family member or a friend who you haven't spoken to in a while and check in on them. This can be in person, it can be a phone call, it can be a message. But just reach out to them, see how they're going because the thing about mental health is you can't see what people are going through and some people have struggles going on that we don't even know about. And just the thought of reaching out could really change someone's life. Now mental health is as much about the external as it is about the internal and while we can't change our own physiology, we can control the things that we do and the people that we spend time with each day. If we fill our lives with positivity, then we're more likely to see the best in things. We can improve our mental health and we can develop relationships along the way too. So here are five things that I do daily that help me get the most out of life but also help me be more positive and to have more energy. The first thing that I do to improve my mental health is exercise. I love playing soccer, I love going to the gym, running, walking, anything that gets the blood pumping and the endorphins going. I honestly feel so happy when I'm exercising and not only that, but it means that I can set fitness goals that I can slowly work towards. I also tend to overthink things just a little too much. And so in doing exercise, I can get the blood pumping all over the body. And this gives me a real clarity of thought and clearness in my mind. And so that means when I do go back to the task that was at hand, I just feel a lot clearer, but also happier because I really enjoy the exercise as well. The second thing is learning. And I don't mean learning as in studying my degree. I mean learning as in doing things and learning about things that I enjoy. And I do this through reading, through listening to podcasts, doing research online, but taking some time out when I need it to spend time learning about things that I'm really passionate about and that I enjoy. So this can be things like fitness and nutrition, personal development, languages, musical instruments, all these things that make up our quality of life. And so spending time working on these really does help improve my mental health as well. The third thing that I do, and this is probably the one that has the biggest impact on my mental health, is spending time with people that I love and doing things that I love and optimally putting these two things together. So whether that means going out with a friend or a family member to have lunch or a coffee or a beer, just going and spending time with somebody that I haven't seen in a while and catching up with them, just taking a bit of time out of my day and my busy schedule to connect with somebody and find out how they're going and share how I'm feeling, to have that support network there for me and to try and be there for them really does boost my positivity and just reminds me that everybody has their challenges as well because not only are they there to support you, but you're there to support them as well. 
And this is when memories are made, when you have that beautiful lunch out with your mum or your dad, or you take your boyfriend or girlfriend for ice cream somewhere and watch a sunset. These little memories are just incredible to look back on. And so for me, this is the biggest thing that I really relish and that I try and incorporate as often as possible to really boost my mental health. Now the fourth thing that I do, and this is something that you can do without sacrificing the tasks that you have at hand. I know that many of us are really, really busy and so doing these other things and taking time out of your day sometimes just is not an option. And so this fourth thing is just taking whatever you're doing, whether it's work or study, emails, whatever it is, and just moving your study or work location. So instead of working in your room or at your desk, head to a coffee shop or a park and just work in that different environment. Not only will you find that your body really responds better and your mind as well, but also the people that will be around you will be radiating their positivity off onto you and it's just so contagious. I know that when I go and study or work in a coffee shop and there are just people catching up and having a great time that it just makes me feel so happy as well and reminds me just how fantastic things are even when I am really bogged down with work or stressed out about an assignment or trying to meet a deadline. So if you are really busy, one tip that I would give is take your workstation, move it somewhere else and I think that will make a huge difference. The fifth thing that I do to improve my mental health is I try and treat myself whenever I feel it necessary and mostly that's in the form of food. So I'll go out and have a pastry or an ice cream or coffee or something like that. But more often than not, I'll go for a more healthy alternative like this BSC protein bar. And these things are fantastic. They taste amazing. Basically the mix between a Mars bar and a crunchy, I reckon. They're naturally sweetened with stevia and they're packed full of protein as well. So I can have one of these each day and I know that it's gonna be doing really good for me as well, but it also really satisfies me and is that treat that I can save up for the end of the day. I won't always have this, sometimes I will go out and have something a little bit more adventurous, but having an alternative like this is a really good option as well. And just to recap, the five things that I do is I love to exercise, I love to learn about things that I'm passionate about, I love to spend time with others and to do things that I love. I move my workstation somewhere different and change my environment and I try and treat myself whenever necessary. These are just some simple things that work for me and for others around me as well. And they may or may not work for you, but by experimenting, you can find things that you can implement into your day that will just make it that little bit brighter and that will really improve your own mental health and clarity. Mental health is a huge part of all of our lives, so be there for those around you and know that you have a support network too that you can tap into if you need it. If you do feel alone or sad or like you're struggling and you don't really feel like you have anybody to talk to, then reach out to me. I'll be your Mobro. Remember, check in with a loved one after you finish watching this video if it's the only thing you do. Again, we never know what anybody is going through and so just by reaching out, you really can change somebody's life. If you're feeling generous, I put my MoSpace Movember link in the description below. So feel free to donate a dollar or two if you can because every little bit makes a huge difference. Thanks for tuning in to Think TLT. If you got something out of this video, be sure to spread the word. My goal is to help impact positively each and everyone's mental health. One view, one message, one action at a time. Happy Movember, and I hope you all have an amazing day.